claims is a multi-million dollar plot to fix the ashes. The Royal Commission into child abuse comes to a close after five years. And finally, we are believed. News you can trust, opinions you can't ignore. This is Sky News, Australia's news channel. Breaking news this Newsday, Australia's biggest bank faces terror finance claims after allegedly failing to notify Austrac of suspected terrorist financing through CBA accounts. Live to our business reporter Leo Shanahan in a moment. Christina Keneally dodging questions today about filling Sam Dastiari's Senate spot as John Alexander pulls ahead in the Benelong news poll. And survivors of institutional child abuse demand the government immediately adopt the Royal Commission's recommendations later this hour my interview with UNICEF on this. And Cricket Australia douses claims of match fixing at the Perth Ashes test. Later also in sport, Vegas calling for Jeff Horn after he successfully retained his WBO welterweight world title. And on Sky News Weather Channel 603, the scorching heat continues with heatwave conditions once again for the Eastern Inland Details, Channel 603. Live. This is Newsday. And good afternoon, 3 o'clock in Melbourne. It's midday in Perth. I'm Aaron Young with you this Thursday with Newsday. First to our top story in the breaking news this hour, further 100 alleged contraventions against the Commonwealth Bank of Australia. The country's biggest bank have now been filed today by Austrac, the government's financial intelligence and regulatory body. Adding to the current civil penalty proceedings, let's get the details and go live right now to Sky News business reporter Leo Shanahan. Leo, the allegations uh, to the CBA that they failed to inadequately uh, mod monitor suspended terrorist finances. Yeah, it's pretty extraordinary, Aaron. Now, look, what this th this is significant because uh, CBA Chief Executive Ian Narev was very early on after the Oztrack allegations broke on the front foot claiming he had no knowledge that any of this related to uh, possible terrorism financing or the bank failing to comply.